Yo, Steel Bills, what's the deal, man? I'm off work on this Friday. I'm finna go and get me some motherfucking Godfather's pizza, man, and enjoy my motherfucking day, man. Go pick my baby up and go home. But peep game, man. Um, I just peeped um the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 presser for George Cambosos and Devin Haney, man. I'm excited, man. I'm I'm excited. I'm happy the fight got made. Um. George in the now is kind of seeming like a man of less words, man. Over the past, I mean, he has kind of been doing some shit that had, you know, that had a motherfucker like, man, like nigga, like, like bro, you know how you know somebody, you know they. All right, when the Warriors first won, when they start, when they went on a rampage in 2016, I remember specifically Clay Thompson saying, "Yeah, we could." I think what did he say? I think they could have either beat the Bulls or the Showtime Lakers, one or the other. And they lost, they blew a 3-1 series against LeBron and company. You know what I'm saying? It's like when people get to a certain, the minute they become a champion, they just start shooting off at the mouth. And for whatever reason, they're not able to, they kind of plateau and stagnate for the time being. They don't ascend. It's just, it's real weird like that. And shit, look at uh, Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez was doing all that barking. He got real Hollywood. You know, just 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 real, just extra out, man. Just really trying to sell himself. He was taking pictures with Canelo. He kept addressing himself as if he's some sort of undisputed world champion, and he was never that. A franchise belt is not a belt that you can unify. A franchise. Let me go these windows up. A franchise title. A franchise belt is not something that you can unify. And he was really coming off as like, oh yeah, I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I've arrived. I'm this. I'm that. And the third. I'm yada yada yada. He was feeling himself, and even with the, the um, with Bob Aaron, man, you know, he jumped the gun and went out and did his own thing. Now, I'm, I'm on record with being proud of that, because any opportunity you get to stick it to Bob Aaron, I'm always going to be a supporter of that, because I just really am just pleased with how he did Bud's career. I just, I don't, I don't think he promoted him properly, and I just, I think it was just serious mismanagement, you dig? So anytime I see Bob Aram and you know somebody one up in Bob Aram, I'm always going to be supportive of that. However, it turned out to be the wrong decision, and it's costing him for that. Because after he got crashed, now you know it's you know it's like yo, all right, man, you know lesson learned. He's in a position now where you know he's still young, so he can bounce back for that. But the thing about it's looking like De Devin Haney, I think has not Devin Haney, but George Cambosos has a lot of momentum going into this fight just because of the psychological effect that his win is still taken on Teofimo Lopez. He's showing the same characteristics and traits that Deontay Wilder showed after he got crashed by Tyson Fury. Like, it's mirror. The, oh, yeah, you know, I won the fight. They knew it was staged. It was around. Like, it's, you know, like everybody was in on some sort of conspiracy theory to remove to remove them belts off of your hands. Like, bro, after you call Wilder a bitch, he needs to stop doing this, that, and the third. You turn around and you do the same thing. You do the same thing. The difference was Wilder couldn't get on. For, he couldn't get on camera and grab the mic in his in his post fight interview and say, "I think I won that fight," because he got stopped twice. You went twelve, so you pulled an Adrian Broner. Well, yeah, you know I beat that boy. And even now, it, when they ask you, but oh man, you is just all these conspiratorial theories that you done you know concocted in your head that you know that was formulated against you. Oh man, I won. And they knew what I was gonna do. I was, uh, you know, I was never gonna fight Haney. I was gonna vacate the belts. But you look bad as a motherfucker now because you just you was talking about yo, I'm, you don't want to fight Devin Haney. Y'all don't want that fight. Y'all don't want that fight. Y'all don't want that work. Y'all yada yada yada. You showed it yourself like yo, man, we we offered you that fight. You was talking like you wanted it, man. Just for you to turn around and say you was gonna vacate vacate the straps if you if you beat George Cambosos. So it's like that win is really starting to purge certain characteristics out of you. The truth and little bitch made tendencies. So on that aspect alone, and George Cambosos has even said that, like, man, look at like I, I fucked that man's head up. And he's proven to be true, honestly, because you look you look crazy as shit right now, man. And George Cambosos is looking like a, a, a beast. Look like a beast out here. He could just bask in victory. Tyson Fury was at least humble and, and displayed some sort of humility in his win. 
over Deontay Wilder. He still wants to be. He wants. He wants Deontay Wilder to accept him in, as his friendship. You know, like accept his, accept him as a friend. And Wilder isn't having it. Cambosos is like, I don't give a fuck. And that's carrying over into this fight. That's carrying over to this fight. So looking at the the presser for the two of them, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm excited, man. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I didn't like that boy shit. I do. I, I will always stand on that. Boy coming from the mouth of a white man to a black man is always going to be cynical. I just, I don't understand how y'all don't get the nuance of that word. I don't get that. He was not a man in the eyes of white society here in North America. He wasn't. He was not a man. He was not a man. He did. He was not. He, 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 oh. It's annoying. It's annoying how people don't have that, you know, they don't grasp that concept and that understanding how what you're saying is, you know, is real inflammatory. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. You can give them somewhat of a, of a, of a, of a not necessarily a pass, but you can, you know, be a little bit more lenient towards him because he's not from this country. He's from Australia. So the lingo over there may be a tad bit different. But nonetheless, it's like, man, if you, you know, you know the word niggas bad. You know, you had all the drama for Devin, not Devin Haney, but uh, Teofimo Lopez when he was saying that shit to Devin Haney. This nigga this and that nigga that. There's no way you can sit here and tell me you don't understand how the word boy coming from the mouth of a Anglo-Saxon is an inflammatory, is inf you can't tell me you can't understand that. You can't tell me you don't understand it. That's the only thing I take away but that I didn't, that I'm not liking about George. That and just, you know, so it's a multitude of other things, you know, because he's feeling himself, you dig, he kind of just, you know, just extra out, man, you know, oh, you know, I got to look over his contract again before you sign yours, after you, you sent him the contract. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of goofy shit that, you know, just a little extra shit that he's done that I'm just not too fond of personally. Like, I I, just, I can't get jiggy with it because I'm just like, man, this shit is corny. It's cornball shit. You know, that little shit right there. I'm like, yeah, what, yeah I can't fuck with that at all, man. But, you know, uh, just I, I don't know what the person is for the, you know, for the, everybody keeps saying Devin Haney is being lowballed. I don't know what the person, I don't know. I, I do not know. I do not know. So I won't even get into that, man. But it's just, you know, just it's, it's a lot of other, you know, a lot of other things that go that play into this fight that's kind of having a motherfucker like, man, I don't know about you, homeboy. Like, man, you kind of, man, I don't know. You side eye motherfucker. So I've been side eyeing him just slightly, man. I've been side eyeing him just slightly. But nonetheless, I am happy the fight is going down. I mean, it's we get undisputed. This, you know, that'll be a consecutive undisputed title matches next year or not next year but in uh, 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 um, in the next couple of months Castaño Charlo Haney Cambosos you know and it's also weird to me that y'all would uh, y'all would um have even if Devin Haney wins the fight he has to go back to Australia to fight I'm not a fan of that I'm not a fan of that but what I will say about it is I like how it's forcing the hand. It's forcing black American fighters to come off of their high horse, and just all right. I gotta bite the bullet and do what it is that I gotta do if I want to continue to be successful. If I want to get to where I want to, if I want to reach my goals, I gotta take an L and go for it. It's forcing you out of your comfort zone. I love that. I love that. I think these people should be fighting all over the world anyway. My people, not these people. My people. I think we should be fighting all over the world galvanizing our, our you know our work and our fan base to the masses man and our you know our, our talent i think we should be doing that so i like the fact that you know it's being held over there it is kind of weird to me that he doesn't even get a say in the matter that yo like you know but he has no other choice but to fight his re the rematch if he wins the fight in Australia, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like it at all. But nonetheless, the fight is going down. That's all that matters. I don't care about nothing else. So, the presser is is is. It was dope, man. And I like how you know Devin Haney don't call me boy. You know, I'm, you know, you want to address me as a man. 
you gotta address me as a man. That shit is that that's Y'all have to know our history, man. Y'all got to understand why we're so volatile. Y'all have to understand that. Y'all have to. And once you understand that, you know, because you can lose fans for saying shit like that, man. You know, motherfuckers think they got it like that because, you know, I ain't from here or I'm Latino so I can get away with saying nigga or I ain't from America so I can get away with calling you boy and all this and all that. It's, nah, homie, you know, you got you to gotta come correct, man. Our history is entirely too turbulent up here for people not to respect. And people not to know. So I'm I'm not a, I'm not feeling that you dig, and I'm, I'm becoming I became a, a fan of George Cambosos after he crashed with uh, Tiofimo Lopez. I loved every minute of that. I was cheering for that man. I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it because I didn't see him fight until that day. But he did it, and I'm happy. So you know I'm a fan of his, but I'm a fan of, J of Devin Haney as well. And I want that man to be respected. You dig? You call him boy. You calling me boy? Respect our lineage. That's the only drawback. And like I said, I can be a little bit lenient about it because he's not from here. So, all in all, man, I dug the press conference, man. I really can't wait for this fight to go down because I think it is somewhat genuine animosity between the two of them. Devin Haney is saying, you didn't choose this fight. You was forced to. I'm not entirely sure about that because you got to look at the pool of other, fighter, of other fighters that he had to pull from. He could have most definitely pulled. He could have... There was nothing stopping him from pursuing a fight with Tank Davis. There was nothing stopping him from pursuing a fight with Ryan Garcia. Those names sell better than you. They sell better than you. They they do. It'll be more people on you know eyes on that fight with Ryan Garcia and him or Tank Davis and him than you or a Lomachenko. It'll be more. It'll be that would added to that. Uh, that would have uh, boosted the viewership on the fucking um, on the uh, 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 on the night of the fight because they have a higher profile than you. No, they have a higher stature. Than you. I think you have a higher profile than Ryan and Gervonta, but they're just more fan favorites. People know them, so I don't think he was chose for this. Uh, hold up, oh, pause. All right, I'm back. But yeah, I don't think he had. Um, I don't. I don't think you could play him with that. You didn't have a choice. You had. You was not. Nah. He had too many options. The fact that he chose you. The fact that he was willing to fight Lomachenko before you. That I think that plays into his character as well. Like he ain't ducking no drama, man. Like because I don't think he would have beat Lomachenko. But nonetheless, I'm happy this fight is going down. I'm overjoyed. I can't fucking wait till it happens, man. Ah, man, 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 man. I might go live on that fight, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>